gases are exchanged in the lungs. The body needs to absorb oxygen into the blood and remove carbon dioxide from circulation. On the left of your screen, you can see lungs. This organ is very well ventilated thanks to the process of air ventilation. This describes the movement of air into and out of the body via the nose and mouth. For your exam, you should be able to explain how the lungs in mammals are adapted for exchanging materials. So let's take a look at some of these adaptations. The alveoli are adapted for gas exchange. In this diagram, you can see the alveoli. At the end of the branches in your lungs, there are millions of tiny alveoli. The anatomy of the lungs is covered in more detail elsewhere in the course, but it's useful to use the alveoli as an example of how surfaces and organ systems are specialised for exchanging materials. So why does diffusion occur in the lungs? The blood has a lower oxygen concentration than the air. Remember that the blood that's in the lungs is returning from the body, and oxygen has been absorbed into the tissues for respiration, so the oxygen concentration is now low. Oxygen moves down its concentration gradient into the blood. For this example, let's imagine that the blood is flowing this way through the blood vessel in the lungs. Now, this blue blood on this side indicates deoxygenated blood that's coming from the tissues. This is low in oxygen. Because the lungs are well ventilated, oxygen is going to move into the alveoli this way. In this part of the blood vessel, there's going to be a concentration gradient between the oxygen inside the alveoli and the oxygen inside the blood. Because of this, the oxygen is going to diffuse from the alveoli into the blood, down the concentration gradient. This changes the deoxygenated blood from the tissues into oxygen-rich blood that can then go back to the tissues. This blood is high in oxygen, ready to be used for respiration. So now we've covered the movement of oxygen into the blood to be used in respiration. Let's have a look at the movement of carbon dioxide, which is a waste product of respiration. Carbon dioxide levels are relatively high in the blood due to respiration. Remember that the blood that's moving into the lungs is returning from the body, and carbon dioxide has been released from tissues during respiration, so the concentration of this gas in the blood here is now high. Carbon dioxide diffuses into the alveoli and is exhaled. So the blood over here is high in carbon dioxide. This means that there's a concentration gradient between the carbon dioxide in the blood here and the carbon dioxide in the alveoli. Therefore, the CO2 is going to move down a concentration gradient and into the lungs. Remember that the lungs are well ventilated, so this carbon dioxide is going to be exhaled. As a result of this gas exchange, we end up with oxygen-rich blood that's also low in carbon dioxide. Because of this, this oxygen-rich blood can pick up more carbon dioxide from respiring cells in the body. So now you understand a bit more about the gas exchange that occurs in the lungs, but how are these surfaces adapted for gas exchange? Thin membranes provide a short diffusion pathway, which speeds up the rate of diffusion. Alveoli have thin membranes, which are just one cell thick. This means that the rate of diffusion of gases across the membrane is going to be fast, which is good for providing oxygen-rich blood that's low in carbon dioxide. Let's have a look at some of the other adaptations that alveoli have for gas exchange. The alveoli provide a very large surface area and are surrounded by a large network of capillaries. This increases the efficiency of gas exchange by diffusion. Alveoli have a large surface area to volume ratio, which means that there's more area for diffusion. They also have a rich blood supply, which maintains a steep concentration gradient as the blood is continually replaced. In the exam, you might be given a diagram and information about structures like the alveoli and be expected to remember what makes them an effective exchange surface. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. 
or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!